Man, oh man, oh man. The ending of episode 17 blew it wide open. Bill Cipher is in our reality and he's here to wreak havoc. Uh, episode 17 was fantastic. I loved everything about it. I loved how the dis they introduced the discovery and how aliens seem to be maybe involved in in a lot of the weirdness of Gravity Falls. Maybe not. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem like that was officially like stated or not, but a lot of really interesting things happened in that episode. Uh, you know, Ford wanting Dipper to stay to become his apprentice, which is really weird. Like, obviously, Ford is all about for Dipper staying his prince, but it's like, like we kind of mentioned in the reaction for that episode, like Dipper's still very much a child, right? He's about to turn thirteen years old. You know. I feel like he needs to experience life first. And then, like, are we going to even consult his parents? <laughs> like, what's Dipper going to do? Just go to his parents like, hey, I'm going to stay in Gravity Falls in Oregon and hang out with Uncle Ford. Uh, forget school, Mom and Dad. I don't know. That, that... Ford Ford came up somewhat a little irresponsible in that episode to me, personally. Um, and then, obviously, you know, Bill able, you know, abling to take advantage of Mabel's vulnerability in that moment. You know, Mabel, Mabel's world felt like it was coming crashing down. At least to her, it felt like that way. So, I mean, I can't fault at all for what happened there with Mabel. It would, she doesn't know about the rift, you know what I mean? Like, and she sees Blendon, you know? She doesn't, you know, she she hasn't... I don't know. She just, I, I it's something she obviously wasn't prepared for, you know? I don't know if how much Ford and Dipper told her about what's been going on with Bill and in regards to the rift. So, I mean, I, you kind of, I don't know. I fell for her in that moment, you know, but yeah. And then the, uh, the ending with Bill, all that whole last few minutes was just so incredibly well done. Um, the credits, the, the shot of their birthday thing. Oh man. And hearing the screams. Oof. But yeah, this is episode 18. This is Weird Weirdmageddon Part 1. Thank you for telling me to look up the episode title because Disney Plus puts, like, the, I guess the code. So it doesn't, They I guess they don't want to spoil people when this was airing. They put the code name of the episode, and it's just a bunch of letters. Uh, so thank you for telling me to tell. But yeah, let's watch Weird Weirdmageddon Part 1. Oh, it's happening! It's finally, finally happening! It's happening, folks. Oh! Physical form, don't mind if I do! Wow. What just happened? <laughs> Blendon's like, what is going on, bro? <laughs> oh no. Is he imprisoning Mabel? We've got a situation. Big situation. What? <laughs> Alright, listen up, you one lifespan, three-dimensional five cents, skin puppets for one trillion years. I've wow. in my own decaying dimension. Waiting for a new universe to call my own. But you can call me your new lord and master for all of eternity. New lord and master. Oh my god, he's so powerful. Now make the gang of interdimensional criminals and nightmares I call my friends. The music. Baseball. Cryptos. <laughs> the being whose name must never be said. Nice. Oh, Cryptos. It's Xanthar. Xanthar. <laughs> Okay, I can't remember all those names. Oh my god. Look at these guys. Oh, please don't do anything to Tyler. Get out. <laughs> Get him, Grenda. Get him out of here. He would. He totally would. Totally would. Oh! Oh! That's awesome! That's disturbing, but that's awesome! Oh my god. Let chaos reign. The watch! The water tower? The castle? The... This is wild! I mean, he likes his clothes off anyway. Yo. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. That 
That was King Kong from 1976, that King Kong roar. Oh. The title sequence is billified. A ball in the way! He's scared of different skeleton teeth, keyhole, hectagon, hectagon. Oh, this is amazing. Created by Bill Cipher. <laughs> Seeing the Bill with the sweater. Oh my god, this is just madness. I love it. It's disturbing, but it's madness. Ooh, some of the nobs. Absolute chaos, folks. Dude, this episode just started and just like it punched you right in the mouth. It didn't even give you a chance. Bill shows up and it's like, boom. But first we have to stop Bill. Are you sure defeating Bill is even possible? Right? I'm not sure. But being a hero means fighting back even when it seems impossible. Step inside. That probably is best. We <laughs> Oh, it's like a wave. Yo, I I didn't know what to expect from this. This is Oh no. Why don't you have a seat and She would. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Sue, step it up. Step it up. Um. I I don't know. I didn't know what to expect here, but I mean, this is just utter chaos. The imagery. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh, it ain't happening now. <laughs> Stand, yes. I'm s sorry, I can't get over the water tower sounding like King Kong from 76! Oh no. Oh. Does this look like someone who's ready to re enter society? No. Unappreciated in his time. Okay, me blush. He's got followers. I love it. I don't like this though. Gideon and Bill, I don't know, they have a thing. Cthulhu! Getting all love crafting up in here. Ugh. Oh my. You came through. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Look at I love his friends. The music has been incredible in this episode. I've been waiting a long time to use this. We're only gonna have one. I cannot wait to get this vinyl set. Oh, I love how perfect that was. Oh no! I'm alive now! <laughs> I'm alive now! Oh. Well, well, well. Mm. Holy crap! Take my journals! Listen, I know of one other way to defeat Bill. It's. Yo, dude, he is so intimidating. I've been waiting an eternity to have a chat face. Eternity. This Armageddon wouldn't be possible without help from our. Oh no! Give him a six-fingered hand. Wait, no, no, I'm not. I don't want Bill to win. Oh no, I'm identifying with the villain. Oh. I know your weakness, Bill. Oh yeah, and I know a riddle. Why do I want to know. Do this? Oh no. Oh no, Ford's out of the picture. Oh my God, he's scratching his back with Ford. Enough. Hand over my uncle. Yo. Where else? Now, isn't this oh. Interesting. <laughs> my old puppet is back for an encore. Oh and man, that puppet stop, episode. Show me what you've got. Yeah. Uh, that puppet episode. Wait, I didn't get to read that. That's it. You have to punch him. In the, you have to hit him in the eye. He was ready for that. Oh crap. No. No. Oh, the journals. I have journal three, by the way. Oh, the pyramid. Oh no. <laughs> Yo, this is wild. Yo, he's got like a hell. He's got a hell mobile, or a weird mobile. Oh, look whose head it was. That's messed up.
Guys, the imagery in this episode is just incredible. It's creepy. Oh. Oh, man. I wonder if it was his, his eye. Oh, my God, her hair. Can someone get that man a pizza, please? Keep Gravity Falls clean. Ew. I'm... I'm... It's amazing. Oh. Like, Alex Hirsch was like, well, this is the end of my show. I'm going all out. Oh, bro. He's probably like, what are they going to do? Not renew my show? I want to talk to you about going inside my mouth. I, I uh, think you want to get in here. Uh... Hey, I'm talking to you, man. You the way that guy's delivering his lines, I feel like that's something out of Rick and Morty. That guy's jacked, by the way. <laughs> my goodness. I just find this to be like a way more just chaotic version of Stranger Things, you know? Oh, no! Okay. Wendy? I thought it was a web. Mm -mm. Tree monster. My dad made me and my brothers do apocalypse training every year instead of Christmas. I guess it worked. Nice. Damn. Let me get that. That was a shot. Okay, Wendy just is Wendy, I'm so glad to find you. Absolutely killing it. It's okay. We have each other now. No. And Toby determined who I accidentally mistook for a monster. This just in. Mm. This arrow in my shoulder. <laughs> my shoulder. Dude, keep out. <laughs> Edgy on purpose. <laughs> oh. We were playing truth or dare in the I could take the hair off. The eyeballs froze Nate, Lee, Tambry, and Thompson. No, not Thompson. I was in a fight with Mabel when it happened. Uncle Ford asked me to be his apprentice after the summer. Looking at the stuff behind him. But that would mean I wouldn't go back home. Didn't take it well, and she ran off into the. I mean, forest. of course she didn't. She couldn't even look me in the eye. Toby, you watch the camp. Don't call me Toby anymore. Call me Bodacious T. <laughs> Bodacious no T. But he's a sassy girl. <laughs> I'm still nerding out at the fact that the water tower sounded like King Kong. The Jeff Bridges one. Said it himself. There's no room for heroes out here. We lost. No, Look, no, 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 no. Not over yet. You've beaten Bill twice before. Why is this time any different? Because then I had Mabel. Then you need to get Mabel back. We need to find her this wherever she is. Some amazing things, but nothing as amazing as you and your. Blendin sister. is still in the picture too. Mom, when you two work together, there's like nothing you two can't accomplish. That's kind of true. But how will I ever find her? Mabel would be perfect to deal with this crisis. Star from Mabel's sweater? Wow. She's in Good eye. I know it. Mabel needs us. <laughs> we need Thompson. <gasps> Inflatable tube tube men. Dude, they're having a part literally, they're just they're just having a party. Dude, Bill and his crew. Oh no. Oh, this is the There's police. Face police. Two. Just play it cool. Dick the time punch. Play it cool. <laughs> oh, they brought Big Baby. Cypher, you are in violation of the rules of space time and possessing the. I don't think Bill cares. Cancer. My body is a temple. How dare you? Hear this, Cypher. <laughs> Hear uh, this, Cypher. Uh, they are familiar. It could destroy the very fabric of existence. Surrender now. I don't think he cares. My tantrum. Oh no, a tantrum. <laughs> tantrum. Whatever will I do about that? How about this? Oh. Huh? Wow. Snap. He just killed time baby. Bill. Oh, man. This has gone from bad is to way too powerful. Time dodge. Time dodge. Pine <laughs> got away before we could eat him. Ha, I'm not worried. I've got someone on the case. Okay. Oh, Gideon. Free cars. <laughs> Come on. I love how Toby's part of this crew right now. I've always wanted to drive a tank. Finally, I'll smell like a person. Steely, steely. Huh, oh no. It's take more than one dart to keep me. Oh. Steely, steely. Oh no, Toby. Oh no. I can no, it's Toby. <laughs> Poor Toby. Oh no, Are we getting all Mad Max. Yeah, we're going all like weird Mad Max now. We just want to make it to that bubble out east. We have no quarrel with you. No quarrel. That's where you're wrong. Wait, 
Gideon? <laughs> Under the authority of Bill Cipher, I place. Oh. Oh, Gideon, you fool. If I couldn't hate Gideon anymore. Gross. <laughs> that's, that's the fandom right there. My sweet precious Mabel's trapped inside, and I have the only key. Well, I wouldn't call it neck exactly. Wrapped around this little pocket of fat under my head. Yeah. It looked like he has a neck. explained it to me nice and simple. She was always destined to be mine. Nice. Ready to escort our friends. This ain't gonna end well for you, Gideon. No, hey, this isn't gonna work. Dude, he actually looks really oh, badass. And why is that? Because after I break Ghost Eye's arm and steal that key from your neck, I'm we got Wendy. My foot like a rhinestone slipper. <laughs> Dude, apocalypse trading. Because I'm a flipping corduroy. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Wendy has never been so much cooler. She does. Fantastic yeah. stuff. Well, I will drop kick him, I swear. Just drop kick his ass. Guess what? We already did. Yes! Wendy, you're the coolest person I know. I know, dude. I can't argue. Tell me about it later. I can't argue. I love the mad maxification of all the vehicles. Yes, please. <laughs> we are not you yes, please. Jeez, he's got like the whole jail. There we go. Okay, all we have to do is outrace Gideon's henchmen, unlock the bubble, save <laughs> This Mabel, is part Mabel. one. <laughs> She's doing fine. Oh god, yeah, I forgot about him. <laughs> Remind me why you're keeping your girlfriend in a prison bubble again? Right? Have we, the prisoners, become the wardens? She loves me. She just doesn't know it yet. I love That's ghost eyes. <laughs> Sorry. It was my major. <laughs> this major. Um, I've never seen a giant head with an arm for a head. Well done, Gravity Falls. Ooh, I love how that's animated. Oh. For some reason, I really want worms right now. Eat worms, fly south, nest. <laughs> what the hell? Oh no. Oh no, I want to see. Ooh, anime! Ugh. Was that them? Was that the voice actors? <laughs> oh, old timey cartoons, I love it. Oh, I think that was them. I think that was, what's his name? Uh, Ritter. That was a great touch. I love when shows do stuff like that. This reminds me of Homer Simpson. Trying to jump the gorge. And somehow they are perfectly fine. This empty this episode's most likely gonna end on a down note, most likely. Maybe not. Seuss! How's it hanging? Seuss! Seuss? I was gonna say part one ends poorly, probably, but they got found Seuss. Where's you? I've been wandering the plains like a desperado, helping strangers. I guess there's some folk songs about me now. Seuss has to be the most pure person, honestly. There's not one bad bone in his body. Okay. Bill Hitchback will be here any minute to retrieve y'all. If I've learned anything this summer, it's that you can't force someone to love you. The best you can do is strive to be someone worthy of loving. Oh, I'm worthy of loving. This ain't gonna get through to him. <laughs> but Mabel doesn't. Bill thinks there's no heroes in this world, but if we Dude, together, what a twist that would be if Gideon fights on their side. You want to be Mabel's hero? Stand up to Bill and let us save her. What, you're scared of Bill? No. <laughs> it's a complicated situation. Then ask yourself what Mabel would want you to do. Oh, man, wait. Th I didn't expect this. Dipper, will you tell her what I did? What? Of course. Guys, new plan. Bill's minions are gonna be on us in seconds, but I'm not gonna let that dumb try. Yo, okay, I'll give Gideon credit. I'll give him his props for for seeing reason. Dude, I'll give him credit, man. He listened. He and he listened to reason. Wow. And I thought I was gonna have to throw down. Yeah, I w I never heard Gideon sound so un Gideon. What is in this bubble? 
Like, we saw what happened in the other bubbles. Like, is this a similar thing? Is this, like, some weird, like, reality bubble? Ah, oh, to be continued! Of course. <laughs> Anybody want to get in my mouth? I'm a big man. I'm a big. I'm a big. I, I don't. I don't want. I don't here. do not want to be really in your mouth, it, sir. If someone, you ma'am, you ma'am. How would you like to get in my? Anybody? Hello? Yeah. Hey, this hey, is sir, sir. <laughs> this guy's uh, false alarm. He's a bad Just salesperson. A not one person. Not one person. Not one. Gone in my mouth. No, nobody wants in. Anymore. I just. I gotta call my mother. What? <laughs> um. Yeah, chaos. I mean, that that's the word, right? You know, the guy called him the chaos god. But yeah, right off the bat, the second the episode started, it, it literally took off right from when the previous one ended. And Bill just unleashing his horror. Man, like, I can't wait to just watch this one again because there's the imagery. There's just so many shots of different creatures. Um, The shots of when they were going through the different realities through the, those bubbles. I'm assuming that's what that was. You know, I caught most of them. I need to see more. And I'm pretty sure that was the voice actors for Dipper and Wendy. I, I, I'm pretty sure that was Ritter. I don't know who voices Wendy. Again, I like when shows do stuff like that. We've been seeing it a lot lately, especially with things dealing with the multiverse. You know, there's everything everywhere all at once, which is an absolute brilliant film. It could be my favorite film this year. Uh, we're only halfway through the year, but that could be my top film of the year. Deals with the multiverse, Doctor Strange. You get you got a lot of that in both of those movies. Like, you know, just to talk about something mainstream, right? But yeah, this is very much kind of like, you know what this feels like to me, right? This kind of feels like the ending of Gravity Falls in episode 17, kind of. Not like the ending ending, but like this feels like, I don't know, like this kind of just like the tone of it and everything. Like just feels like kind of like, like a, like a semi-soft reboot, like... This, it feels like, at least with part one, it's, it feels like a different kind of show almost. Like, it has all those Gravity Falls touches, but this feels different. And I guess that's to be expected when, you know, Bill Cipher infiltrates this reality. But man, they're going full just like post-apocalyptic horror in this. There are some really gnarly looking beasts. A lot of really, like, dark stuff happening here. But man, so they're going to go fetch Mabel. Ford is out of the picture at the moment. Stan, MIA at the moment. Seuss, oh, I love how Seuss is intro. And Wendy, Wendy's definitely the MVP of this episode. I mean, how, you can't get more badass when she tells them what she's going to do and she still is able to do it. You don't get no more badass than that. And then let's give, seriously, give props to Gideon. I'll give Gideon his credit. He listened, he listened to reason and he, 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 was doing the right thing. Oh, and the stuff with the time baby. Bill just eradicated him. Boom, time baby's gone. So I wonder how, um, we're not done with Blendon. I don't think we're done with Blendon, but he just dealt with time baby like there's no issue. But I love how time baby and Bill know each other. That is, that is, that is really interesting. But yeah, we're finally getting to see like, maybe not yet full Bill, but like this is a definitely the most we have seen of him because he's not restrained now. And man, he, he ain't messing around, man. He's he's gonna tear this reality apart, and that's the idea. But he's full on just like again the disturbing thing. It's just fun for him, right? I don't think there's any really rhyme or reason for why he's doing what he's doing. That's this is what he is. He's a demon, right? He's a just chaos. That's 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 his goal. That's who he is. Once he's done here, he goes somewhere else, probably. Wow, yeah, this was uh. What a start, part one. Yeah, we're gonna, we're, and, and I'm, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with that episode and what they were able to display. Again, this is on Disney, and I feel like Alex Hurst was pretty much was like, well, I already know I'm probably not getting a season three. It was, I was probably canceled at this point already. What are they gonna do? Might as well just go balls to the wall here. But yeah, folks, that's all I got for you today. Um, I will see you in the next one for, um, I mean, it was called Weird Beginning Part one i'm assuming the next one's called weird again in part two um i don't see the episode titles until i record but yeah seriously this has just been an absolute blast we're, we're literally in the end game of gravity falls so stay tuned i will see you in the next one have yourselves a great day and so long